Nigerian government has failed us again. In fact, they have failed again. They have failed and failed woefully at this point again. Like, oh my goodness. I don't even know where to start from with what we have been hearing since yesterday. Eh? And this time around there, some people decided to also use some spiritual, spiritual something to, 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 to back them up or to back up the negligence and every other thing that happened in this particular incident of Nigeria Atos and screws who lost their life in the boating. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh, where are my Ghanaians brothers and sisters? This is our prophet, eh? Like, is it that is only his prophecy? Is he only for the Nigerian celebrity? Or he also does as well to the Ghanaian celebrity? Anyways, welcome back, guys. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. I trust you all are doing perfectly well. If you are seeing my pretty face for the first time, you are highly welcome. My name is Mary Queen. I'm a Nigeria content creator. Okay, guys, so we are on this sad news concerning our Nigerian actors and some screw or uh, Nollywood members who lost their life on timely death on some strategy that happened yesterday. We recently, at some point, we were happy at some point it becomes the news that everybody is kind of finally the sad reality finally happened then i saw this video that they are making to go viral concerning a ghanaian prophet <laughs> concerning a ghanaian prophet i was like are you trying to back give them reasons to back up this this set of governments this set of nigerians that has failed this set these people or that Nigeria has already happened to these people. Are you trying to give them reasons to support it? Ghanaians, we can't carry this on our brother because all this on our prophet because he can't obviously be giving reasons. Now, I'm not saying life is spiritual. Don't, yes. Oh, yes, life is spiritual. Like, that is why they say each day you pray. Hold on to whatever you know you serve so well. You serve the living God. You serve so well. Hold on to him. And you know everything or that thing that you're doing, you try to design yourself and know whether you should step out or not. But then this one, this concerning concerning this death that is so sudden, that is it's a sad one concerning our Nollywood actor and some Nollywood screw members. Okay, then they are giving this prophecy. So I saw this prophecy. Let me bring out what I'm actually kind of analyzing. send a message if a cross check in papa inside because the darkness on junior pope not take time out plus a family or oh, one day bad news go fall for Niger, they will regret because the gods from your father's side oh, they make hot for it back the gods from your father's side they are doing accident his way in the spiritual world when now this is the video of a certain Ghanaian prophet he did this video months back concerning the actor that recently died now, who we all are still crying. Like yesterday, I couldn't even get myself. Yesterday, I couldn't even hold on to myself. After I saw the news, at some point, I was like, let this be a lie. Let this not be true. To the extent that finally it was the sad reality that we all faced with some screw members. This was the sad reality we faced. So... This prophet now is telling us that this thing is not just something that just happened. That is something that already happened in the spiritual. That's something that they have already said for him in the spiritual. Hmm. Hey, this is a Ghanaian prophet too. Now, firstly, I want to ask Ghanaians, we can't carry this on our brother. Let him don't give some of all this our things, these Nigerians, reasons to, you know, to to support to back up what they do some of the things the nigerians that happen to nigerians the nigerians that fails nigerians the nigerian government that fail nigerians you know so it's true that this thing has happened there are so many negligence that do happen according to what we all have been seeing on social media space concerning the sudden 
death of the school members and this Nollywood actor. Yes, it's true that life is all about spiritual, no, no doubt, right? But then, why is it? Is it only that this prophet always sees only that of that of Nigerian celebrities, or he also sees that of Ghanaian celebrities or Ghanaians? Is he only saying that it's only Ghanaian Nigerian celebrity that he does? That's one question that I would really love anybody that will, can actually mm -hmm. ask me because I don't really follow him that much. This prophet, okay. Then another thing is that they should not, they are just making this video to dread, let it really look like some other things that happened in Nigeria that failed these people is not what that's is not what talking about. Like now they're talking about the life jackets that we're supposed to provide. They didn't provide it for those people that then you can actually see the video of this Nollywood actor. The first video he posts when he was going to this location, he was talking about the risk that he is taking to us to provide entertainment for we, okay, to the whole world. And then, and then he also said that there is no life jacket. He also talked tag the producer of this movie which is Adam Maluk who is the producer of this particular movie now she neglected the necessary things that they need to do number one they didn't provide the um, uh, the things that they need which is the life jacket they did not provide it and the essence of him trying and after all the and then they also said I heard that they said that the the driver of the boats were catching crews now this one goes to the company the company people they should actually provide people that are serious to do their job and know that this thing is something water river is not something that you should just anyhow people somebody that is not diligent enough to be a driver on it now the company people another thing is the nigerian government are also another thing that happened to this set of people the nigerian government has been because if for sure the nigerian government have the divers, the people that will, if something of such happen immediately, they will just jump in to rescue those people, then definitely maybe it should be something that, oh, finally, it almost happened, but it didn't happen. But today, the reality we are facing is that they were not. They had to wait for several hours before they could actually get divers that could rescue few people that were able to rescue on time before they, they are three, three people that they are still under, they haven't found up to now, okay, yes, so now this is Nigeria happening to the people, and another thing is the CPR agents and all that, that took the life of those people, so it's not all about this prophecy of a thing, yes, prophecy has happened, okay, but another thing is that Nigeria happened to these people, and the jealousy and the envy in the industry, like the darkness, that is in the, the, the enemies that is in the industry. Could you imagine that I, according to what we had, they said that when these people were, when they brought them out, they immediately took him to mortuary. Took him, taking him to the mortuary, they didn't even practice the CPR that they ought to do. In order to press, 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 press the person or even breathe air or lay him in a proper way that they need to lay him down to press, press, press in order to bring out the excess water as somebody that drowned. They didn't do those things. Rather, they took him to the... This is lack of knowledge for the people that is around. And again, the government, Nigerian government that didn't do their job to provide all those people that need to be around for safekeeping. In fact, it should be a law. Rather, they make it norm in that place. Look at I could actually see some posts. People were saying, it's a normal thing to cross that river, that place, without putting a life jacket. Could you imagine that they have made it normal? This is Nigeria for you. They have made it is a normal. Something that is abnormal is not normal. Why sh it should be something that should be a law for that place? In fact, the life jacket should be around that place. People that is renting or selling it should be around that riverside. Whereby, if you don't have it, you cannot enter boats to cross. Rather, it's not like that. There is no law that produces that. And besides, in that... Ay, kai, kai. Honestly. Honestly. Whether spiritual or not spiritual, negligence. Nigerian government caught this. Envy in industry. And lack of knowledge. Because the people that carry this guy actually have envy. They didn't even check him. Could you imagine that this was... A mortuary attendant that told them that the person that they brought here isn't dead yet. They now have to take him back. Take him back from one place to the other. We lost him. May he so rest in peace. I really shed tears yesterday, seriously. I could Before I could get myself, even I hardly slept yesterday because of this guy. This guy is a family-oriented. Somebody that doesn't, doesn't, oh my goodness. 
doesn't even play with his family, his wife and kids. I just pray God to comfort the how the family, the lives, the family of those that were drowned that this tragedy happened to. Like you people should stop promoting that video of uh, prophecy. Yes, the prophecy has been said since uh, nothing was done. But the little things that were supposed to happen that could save those people, the life jacket, the CPR, the the the, the people that even the divers, the people that could actually come quick to save them, the the government, the Nigeria government, the state government that is in that place, the Anambra state government that should provide all the whole ammunition, all the whole equipment to keep by, they didn't do it. So Nigeria happened to him. Nigeria happened to him, even though it's spiritual stuff. But when the thing now finally occurred, there are so many things that they were supposed to do in order to save their life, but they didn't do it. They didn't do it. They didn't do it. This is how we lost this young guy, Junior Pop. Like, seriously. Oh yeah, this prophet, hey, God, honestly, eh, I'm lost of speech. I am so bitter since yesterday because of this Nigerian government and all that. It's not all about spiritual something. Yes, it's also about negligence. It's also about government. It's also about envy. It's also about people not knowing the necessary things. Like, Nigerian government, they should be educating people on all these things. Like, make it known. Even people that are around that riverside that walk there should know that if somebody drowned, the rest immediate thing to do is CPR. Many people don't even have a way or how to do it to press people, to breed them, to know how to set them in order not to. Oh God, like what am I even saying? Honestly, guys, we just continue to pray for the family of those people. I beg, you people should not promote those videos of that prophecy, Ghana prophet. You, your prophecy has come to pass. So what we will do now? We are still crying. Like, eh? What is it? Are still crying? But another thing, we should not forget. We should forget about the family stuff and spiritual. We should also tackle. They should do better now. Let this one be a lesson for doing better. To do the necessary things that they need to do. Before, if you allow them to keep spreading this news of a uh, prophecy, the prophecy is things that are supposed to happen. Is things that happen come from his village people and his village people you will see they will still neglect and still not take actions immediate actions necessary actions that they need to do in order to make such thing not occur again in order to prevent such thing not occur again eh that's why i'm kicking against that prophecy i'm not saying the prophecy is not real i'm not saying it did not happen it has happened i'm not saying that the man of god is fake oh no 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 far be it but i'm here to say that whether prophet or no prophet there is negligence there is mm, Nigeria happened to them. I just pray God to comfort the household, the family that he left behind, the children and the parents. Nigerian government, you people should sit up. The state government, sit up. Sit up. Let's stop pointing fingers on things and sit up. Sit up. Things that are abnormal, let's stop making it normal. See you guys in my next video, guys.